Hey guys, so Temasek is to officially write down the 275 million US dollars investment in FTX. So Temasek actually invested 210 US dollars in FTX, which is about 1% and 65 million dollars in FTX.US uh, of 1.5%. So although it's both FTX is technically different entities like Binance, Binance.SG, Binance, Binance.US, they are uh, different exchanges but under the same uh, framework. The cost of their investment in FTX was 0.09% of their net portfolio value at SGD $403 billion as of 31st March 2020. The market currently do not have any direct exposure to cryptocurrency, so they don't buy Bitcoin, they don't buy Ethereum. So according to Tamasic, they actually have an extensive due diligence process on FTX, which took about 8 months from February to October 2021. They looked at FTX audited financial statement and it showed to be profitable. They focus on associated regulatory risks with crypto financial market service providers, licensing, regulatory compliance, anti-money uh, anti laundering, and KYC and cybersecurity. So like all investments, they recognize that due diligence processes may mitigate certain risks, but it's not practical to eliminate all risks because all investments have risks to them. Some you win, some you lose. So in conclusion, Tamasic actually, no matter what, FTX bankrupt or FTX comeback, uh, make a comeback, they are going to actually write down their full investment. So they are technically losing the $275 million investment in FTX. Yeah.